Hey everybody, it's Tank and Trucker here, and today I am going to do a special review on my baby. Um, this is the VK7201K Tier 10 Premium Heavy Clan War Reward Tank. I got it for the 4th um, Clan War. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, it was uh, the 3rd Clan War uh, Reward. Uh, you had to meet certain requirements with uh, personal uh, high enough points to get a premium uh, vehicle as a reward for being involved in the. Uh, it was the third. The uh, the one that just just finished. Uh, I started out strong. I got uh, the first three days. I was in every match. Um, got several matches. I was going to go for the new tier ten. Uh, American Heavy with uh, the awesome turret, great gun. Um, don't know a whole lot about it, but um, as a truck driver, you have to go with what they get you for loads, and they got me a bunch of loads, so for three weeks, um, unfortunately, I was not able to be um, included in the uh, last Clan Wars, which was the fourth one. And uh, so I didn't have an opportunity to get another clan war reward tank. Uh, several people in my clan did get uh, reward tanks. A um, good friend of mine actually did get the new American Heavy. And um, I'll ask him about that and how he likes it and stuff when I talk to him next. But anyways, um, this is one of the reward tanks that you could win. So I kind of want to do a review to help people uh, out there figure out how to kill it. Plays a lot like the E100. Um, gun is exactly the same gun that's on the E100. It's a 155, or excuse me, uh, 15 centimeter, so 150. KWK L38. Um, E100. Let me see if it's the same gun. I'm not 100% sure if it's the exact same gun. Yeah, it's the KWK L38. So it's the same gun. So it's a 150. Um, everybody that plays uh, the E100. So if you you know if you got this one, you already know what kind of gun you're getting your hands on. Um, penetration for standard round is very subpar for a tier 10, 235 for for um, AP rounds. That's pretty laughable. Um, you're not going to try penning a uh, IS-7 in the front anywhere with a 235 pen and, and, unless you hit him in that lower plate and just watch him laugh. Heat rounds, e even on that front uh, front upper plate, it, it just has even trouble going through with 334. Um, obviously, your, your heat rounds with 334 pen are going to give you a way better chance of penetrating stuff than 235. Um, but, I mean... I, I'm going to do this review shooting nothing but gold. I will do a review later on down the road shooting straight AP standard rounds so that you can see the difference. And Because, you know, you get out there and you're getting wrecked by an E100 or a VK. And, you know, you're calling them a gold slinger. You know, all you can do is shoot gold. Um, but... You know, run it, and you'll see why everybody runs pretty much straight gold in these tanks because those standard rounds just, you know, if you want to do any damage, you're not going to do it. It's going to bounce, 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 bounce. Um, I mean, you can get shots off with standard rounds uh, in, the, in the sides, rears, and you're going to penetrate. Uh, if you can hit the weak spots, yeah, you're going to penetrate. Um, but, you know, when... You're in a tier 10, and your team's counting on you to do as much damage as you can. Uh, you know, you, you want to have those premium rounds in there so that, you know, you're going to penetrate when you hit something. Um, I don't play this a lot. Um, I just, just for the simple fact is I've got tanks that I've got bought premium tanks, and I've played them for three or four days straight, and my win rate just goes down the toilet because... Um, it seems like the more you play a single tank, uh, the worse 
win rates you get in it because if you get team after team that uh, shouldn't be playing in tier 10s, they should be playing in tier 3s. Um, they don't even know which way to point the gun, let alone, you know, where to shoot something. And you get stuck on teams like that, team after team after team. Uh, they see that you're a decent player, uh, you're blue or, or purple, um, already focuses you out. Uh, the players that um, have uh, mod, uh, a mod on their game, they see what your win aid is. They focus on taking you out. And um, so basically you're painting a big target on your back. The better you do, the more people want you dead. If you got a player in this tank that has a win uh, win eight of 300, you're not really even going to worry about him. Whereas if you got a tier eight right next to him and that player is a super unicom with a 3,000, you know, 4,000 win eight, you're going to take that tier eight player up for even mess with the tier 10. Just do the simple fact that he's a better player and you want him gone. So unfortunately, the better you do, uh, you're painting a target on yourself to just sometimes go out and get wrecked. Um, I've taken this out and done six, seven thousand damage in it. Um, I've also taken it out and been dead in the first minute because artillery just focuses on you and they want you dead. Um, so, you know, being a good player sometimes has bad effects. Uh, I guess, you know, maybe if you're a mediocre player, you know, you don't get focused out as much. So the game can be a lot more fun than going out and just getting wrecked because everybody wants you dead. But anyways, let's get back to the review of this so I can help you figure out where to shoot it to kill it. Um, a lot of people have a, a lot of trouble killing this thing because they just don't have a clue where to shoot it. They aim for the lower plate, which the lower plate, you look at it and you think, wow, that's pretty up, straight up and down, and you just bounce and bounce. Upper plate, bounce and bounce. Um, so here's the secret. Um, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. That way, because um, you're going to be seeing a lot of these in the next few weeks because of the reward vehicles. But your weak spot on this tank is right here. If you and obviously over here. So if you see this tank and he's trying to side scrape, they're gonna have to give you that weak spot right there. Um, even at a distance, if you can get a decent shot straight, I mean you aim at the hall just to the left of it, or if he's you know this way just to the right of it and shoot straight up there that round is going to fly straight up and go right through that weak spot that is a very weak 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 spot easy cheesy to penetrate turret is hard it looks like it's got a low turret that's why they call it the fell low um but uh, it looks like it has a low turret uh but the the turret is pretty phenomenal spaced armor on the gun mantle hard to even hit the uh Commander's Coppola, it, I mean, it's, it, from the front, it's a hard tank to, to, to penetrate. So, you know, you really need to hit it there. Um, also, if you see the back of it, shoot here, shoot here, shoot here, shoot down here, don't shoot here. Um, for some, I don't know if that's considered spaced armor or what, but I don't know how many times people see that and they aim right at it, shoot it, and it bounces. Heat rounds bounce off that. I don't know... Um, don't know why. Uh, all I can think of is it's considered spaced armor. Um, but shoot anywhere on the back but that box because you're not going to penetrate there. Uh, if you can shoot underneath the track uh, in here, uh, good chance that um, you know you can ammo rack it and pop the turret off and uh, knock them out. So if you see me, don't shoot me there. <laughs> cut, cut me some slack. But it has 2,500 po hit points. Um, so it's got a little less than the E100, um, but, you know, with the premium tank, uh, they always, you know, give you a little bit of a downfall. Same gun as the E100, 1,200 horsepower motor, 43 top speed. Yes, that's not a mistake. It does get to 43 kilometers an hour on a straightaway, and it seems like you can get where you need to be pretty quick, as long as you don't have to turn. As soon as you turn, it's just like you slammed it in reverse. Um... On a straightaway, you can keep up with you know, some mediums, but there's, I mean, um, it cruises right along. But, um, yeah, as soon as you start turning, it's all she wrote. Armor on this, the hull is 200, 160, 120. Uh, turret armor is identical, 200, 160, 120. So um, you have 200 millimeters pretty much anywhere in the front 
um, to try and mess with. You can try and shoot, you know, the, the driver's spot, but it's at such an angle, it's probably just going to bounce. Um, you're better off trying to hit that lower plate, the lower, lower piece right there, which is really hard to hit. You can put them there. If you've got a big enough gun, you'll put a round through there, but it's going to take a gold round. Um, or a very high penetrating uh, tank destroyer, you know, uh, APCR round or AP round. So, uh, rate of fire, it's actually a little bit slower than the E100, 2.73 rounds a minute. The reload on the E100 is a little faster. This is 18.16. The E100 is 16.51. So not a huge difference, but, you know, that second and a half can make the difference between you living and dying. View range, 441. Signal range, 785. That's with my crew. I've got three crew skill. Um, working almost on that at, um, at 92%. So getting there. Um I had a really good crew in my E100, and I actually threw it in this. Um, I don't play my E100 a whole lot. Well, it's still got a decent crew in it. But anyways, so um, let's take it out and see what we can do. Guaranteed you're going to be in a Tier 10 match. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Let's see. So there's a 907 on the enemy team and one of those new T95E6s. And I automatically load heat right off the bat. I'm going to go over to basically heavy alley over to the left from this side of the map. On the left side, um, I try scoot up here real quick. And I think it's this hill right here. I get right there and try and shoot them as they come up there. Or if they come around that corner, shoot them up there. Um, they've got a, a better team than us, so hopefully they don't st steamroll us. But, let's see if I can get cooking along here real quick, and as you can see, I'm at 36 kilometers an hour already, 37, 38, I'm getting a little bit of downhill action here, so I'm up to 44. So, you know, I got it. M50 there. I had to turn a little bit. He's going to pass me, but you can see. I mean, this is a heavy, and you know, I'm catching up to the E5. So, yeah, on a straightaway, you're going to, you can cook right along. Um, when you turn, that's when you start really slowing down. When you hit a hill, you got 1200 horsepower uh, motor, so that can still kind of help you get to those areas, but still going to slow you down just because the simple fact is it's a super heavy tank T90 5E6 is way over there so I was kind of hoping to see it over here so I could get a chance to shoot at one or kill it and also to see you know just how uh, how it looks and how good it is so the E5 is going to get over there somebody just got around in him I'm going to pre-aim right up there hopefully he'll come around and I can give him a little love tap. And, wow, that love tap I completely missed. And I got E50 using me for his armor. He'll be loaded before me. So, let's get back here. I don't want to be a artillery bait. You can see already rounds flying in. The aim time on this is kind of horrendous. It's T110E5, doesn't know where he wants to go. I gotta keep popping out to get a shot off because he keeps pulling out there. I hit that ripper patent for 636, so a low, low roll. The last couple videos I made, I have been having just awful bad rotten luck with uh, the RNG Jesus. I mean, a 636 roll on a tier 8 tank has, I mean, I don't care where I hit him, I should have just tore him up. 
There's a lot of mediums up there, and I don't feel like running into all those. IS-7. Boy, we are not having good luck here. If he pops up, I don't know if he knows I'm here or not. Yeah, he knows I'm here. I was hoping he'd pop up so I could get a shot off on him. And he took my track off. We fixed the track. Get going. The accuracy of this is not phenomenal, but he was uh, nice enough to put his turret up there where I could schmuck him a good one. We got a couple mediums over here, that uh, medium and that new heavy that's covering that side, so that's nice. The gun depression on this is pretty laughable. It doesn't have any. Well, hopefully I don't get wrecked by artillery, but I'm going to push up here because we're starting to lose our tanks. So I hit that M60, which is another uh, premium reward tank, and he's coming on me here. He's shooting straight heat. I uh, don't blame him. I would too if I were shooting at this thing. I hated wasting a round on him. As you can see, I've had one round pen me so far. Been hit eight times. The heat rounds are going through my lower plate, no problem. Well, Artie's got a. Artie's got a bead on me now. I need to get my track fixed here and get pushed up here. Nope, oh, now I'm getting shot in the back. Right, STB. Oh! Yeah, I... I didn't have much luck there. Um, my team got wrecked there, so as soon as I turned around and tried to take the STB out, it was too late. They were dead, so it was a free shot for the E5 in my butt. Yeah, we we're, were getting wrecked pretty bad. I knew we were gonna. This team that they had was just way better than us. Or our team, and you can see... If you see blocked, 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 all standard. Penetrate, heat. Bounce to heat. Bounce, 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 bounce another heat. Another penetration from another heat round. Uh, HE splashed me for 770 from T92, which I hate Sky Cancer. I really absolutely hate artillery because the person on that T92 is actually a decent player, but... Um, doesn't take any skill to be honest with you to play artillery really i mean point and click have a slice of pizza drink a soda pop watch a movie uh move your cursor around a little bit and click oh, you know i just wrecked you for 770 you know i think um they need to really revamp artillery uh, i don't play it personally other than to complete the 15 missions you have to do to get the premium prize tanks um, but I won't go out of my way to play artillery just for the heck of it. Just because, um, you know, I've got them all. I've got every one of the uh, artilleries in the game. I've got like 312 or no, actually 300, I think 15 tanks in my garage. Um, several arties, obviously, I've got all of them. Uh, uh, conquer gun carriage. And when I can shoot something from across the map and one shot it, from full health, from 3,000 points, and take a, mo a moss out in one shot, I just don't think that's fair, and it doesn't take much skill. I mean, it's not a rocket scientist to point and click. A lot of people prefer just to play artillery, and if that's what they like, that's what they like. You know, I don't have a problem with them playing it. I just think, um, you know, it's got its place in World of Tanks, but I just absolutely think that... Um, a T-92 that splashes me. I wish the Merc was still there. I mean, he didn't even actually come close to me. Um, but 
he did 770 damage, and all he did is dropped around, not even really next to, I mean, kind of close, but, I mean, he did 770 damage and didn't even hit me. I mean, he came close, and that was it. So, I really think they need to revamp artillery so it doesn't do so much damage and ru it ruins the game. I mean, you're out there like I was trying to do really good, and, you know, I didn't do too bad. I got, you know, a couple bounces uh, off of the enemies I was shooting at. Um, you know, and I was getting shot at by nothing but um, heat rounds. That's all I was shooting, though, was heat rounds. But like I said, because the penetration's so low, um, I hit that Pat and Care. I actually hit him twice and finished him off for a total of 672. Um, ammo racked him and destroyed his track. I hit an Mstead M60, which he was a real good player for 669 and uh, knocked out or injured his loader. But um, average damage on this gun, I want to say 750. Yeah, 750, and I hit for 669. And two two rounds put together, uh, the last one only did like 30 damage, so that first round only hit him for about, what, 630-something? Uh, I mean... Come on, average damage 750, and I'm not even hitting for 630. And then the other one hit for sit, not even, you know, not even 670, and it does 750 average. You know, that's just that's just pitiful. Um, I got one kill, did 2,029 damage. Um, we had some players that just really completely sucked, though. I mean, a Yagi 100 was zero damage. He had two shots and one hit. One round from that thing does like, what, 1,100, 1,200 damage. And um, obviously he doesn't know where to shoot something. An artillery, a clicker with zero damage. He had one whole shot off. I guess I'd have to watch the, you know, the replay and figure out, um, you know, how, <laughs> how he only got one shot off and got killed. Uh, a tier 8 and a tier 10 match, I know how it is. Um, so... Yeah, it happens. 235. A Moss with 487 damage. You had three shots, two hits. I mean, you saw what I saw, and there was lots of targets to shoot at. So, I mean, obviously he probably got chewed up by uh, artillery, I imagine. His received from Splash Zero. No, he never, unless artillery hit him right on. Um, you know, they were focusing really around me, and that's ended, you know, because I saw those rounds dropping around me, so I know they were kind of focusing on me and ended up really hurting me, too. Uh, a tier 10 E50M, awesome tank with 778 damage, pretty sad. A tier T10, uh, AKA IS8, um, 851, tier 9 tank, great gun, 851 damage, pretty sad. Uh, Another Ripper patent with a little over a thousand RT92 with 1492. That gun does that 49, 1420 is like its average damage, I think. So yeah, um, 1420 with uh, three kills. He, I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. He had six shots, but he did get three kills. Um, his were all splash damage. Three kills off splash damage. That's the kind of splash that thing has. It's monstrous. M103, another one of my favorite tanks. 1748, he did pretty good. E75, another one of my favorite tanks. 1858. Uh, so we had some pretty good players. Um, that new T95 E6, 15 shots, 11 hits. So seven rounds penetrated for almost 3,000 damage. That is great. I'm, I'm thinking that tank is just going to be a, a beast. I mean, I hit four shots on a gun that supposedly does, you know, 750 average damage and only did 2,029. And he did three more shots and did uh, almost 1,000 more damage than me. So, yeah, that's, I'm liking that tank. Um, we had a good player in our ISU 152, 2,231 damage, seven shots, five hit. Um... You can see, though, when you shoot, uh, you know, straight heat out of that thing, um, 38,089 on a loss. I can guarantee, even if that would have been a win, I probably still would have lost money on that match. Um, just because the heat rounds are very expensive. Um, not sure how much they are per round. Whoops. Let it show me when I do that. 
Oh, you have to go to service. So 6,000 um, credits for a single heat round with coin and 15 gold pieces if you use gold. So yeah, so 6,000 credits per shot. Um, for the standard uh, APCR rounds, it, or excuse me, AP rounds, it's 1,260 per shot. So they're still pretty expensive. If I would have shot uh, nothing but uh, APCR rounds in it, I probably still would have lost money um, on a loss. Not, you know, quite as much, obviously. But I also probably wouldn't have penned, uh, well, the, the Ripper Pat and I would have. Um, but uh, the uh, M60, I probably would have bounced. Uh, turret on that thing is really good. Uh, damage caused with my assistance, 1,012. So I probably uh, knocked the track off of something and uh, somebody else wrecked it or already hit it. So uh, I really like this tank a lot. Uh, I love it. Great tank. Fun to play. Um, I hit 66.67% of my rounds. Um, how many did I actually shoot? Six. So I missed two. The... Um, the four I hit did penetrate, but uh, if you look, two, three, um, oh, actually, so I, all of them did hit and penetrate. A, a lot of times, if it's like um, uh, tier 10, like a Moss, E100, uh, if they're side scraping and you end up, uh, you, you know, the, the round just won't do anything, you know, the track will eat the round. Um, but I was lucky enough to shoot him and penetrate all of them. Um, I did kind of waste one shell. He only had 30 hit points left. But, hey, you know, he's got a gun. Take him out of the game. So I got rid of him. So um, if I had to do it all over again and uh, got to choose for the, the choices I had at the time were this, the M60, uh, the 907, and... I think there was one more one more uh, premium tank to pick from there might have been those three i still would have picked this um i love my super heavies uh, i didn't get right up in their face and brawl with them just for the simple fact you saw all the mediums on the hill the heavies that were in front of us plus artillery no um this has got great armor but you know I, they would have wrecked me i'd have been getting pinned in the side i mean i got hit 13 times five of them penetrated Eight bounced. I bounced 2,720 damage. Two hits by artillery for splash. One of them for 770. Um, the other, I can't remember how much it did. Um, but you could see Artie was really trying to take me out. Um, let's see how much that other artillery did. Yeah, he did 3,865 damage. So, yeah, the T92 in the right hands is pretty deadly. Um... Their M60 was really good, did over 5,000 damage. 907, 1650, that's the, another one of the reward tanks. And the T95 E6 on the enemy team only did 863, four shots for us. So two two penetrations, so it does about 400. And um, imagine 400 uh, average damage is probably what it does. So he probably got a good high roll on something or two, two decent rolls. But, um, yeah, I'm really liking that tank. I wish I uh, were able to have gotten it. So, anyways, um, unfortunately, that was a loss for my team. Like I said, uh, I don't play this uh, a whole lot just due to the simple fact that uh, I've got tanks and I'll get them and I really like playing them. And then my I watch my win rate and it just go right down the toilet because, um, you know, if you get team after team that just sucks, uh, you know, you suffer also, because you might do, you know, 5,000 damage and get a, a 10,000 win. But if your team, you know, doesn't know what they're doing and they all push one way and leave a whole flank open. And like uh, this match, for instance, you know, I had those three or four heavies that pushed over. They were guarding that one side. And the next thing I know, uh, the two mediums that were on the hill were dead. STB came up behind, started shooting me in the back. I went to turn around to take him out. And then I got shot in the back because the ones that were guarding the front of me got taken out and so i got taken out by a e5 uh, shot in the back anyways um i love this tank but like i said i just don't play it a whole lot due to the simple fact is i don't want to ruin my stats in it um 
I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the review I did in this. Remember where to pen it there and there. Easy places, weak points, and you could see the M60 was penned in my lower plate with uh, heat round, uh, heat rounds, um, gold rounds, right in the, the front, no problem. So, yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the replay in this uh, or review. This is Tank and Trucker, and uh, you be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield.